In this video, I'll be using PowerShell to move taskbar icons to the left side. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the objectives for this video. First, I will be moving the icons for a single user, a so called current user. And after that, I will show you another method that allows us to move the taskbar icons to the left side for all the users on the computer. And here you can see the first PowerShell snippet that I will be using. And this one moves the taskbar icons to the left side only for a single user, the user that is executing the PowerShell snippet. And it works by creating a registry entry in Windows registry. Here you can see the location, the value is zero and the value name is taskbar all. And now I'll click on the button right here to copy the PowerShell snippet and then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have this Windows virtual machine. As you can see currently the taskbar icons are in the center as it is by default and to switch it to the left side I will open the PowerShell window, I will run it as administrator, click yes here, I will insert the snippet from the GitHub page and I will press enter. And as you can see, after successfully executing the command, everything in the taskbar moved to the left side. And this means that the PowerShell snippet is working just fine. And now before executing the second snippet, I will create another user account on this computer. I will use net user commands. I will name the user John. And then I will add add. Then I will press enter. And as you can see, the user was successfully created. Now I will sign in to this user. And now, as you can see, for this new user, the taskbar icons are in the center, like I had before on my admin user. So I will go back to my admin user and I will show you how to change the taskbar icons to the left side from the admin user to all other users on the computer. And for that, I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have the PowerShell snippet that I will be using for that. And here I have a single line, but in this single line, I'm, I'm performing many actions. First, I'm configuring active setup, then via active setup, I'm configuring run once, and then I'm using run once to create the registry entry for other users on the computer. The same registry entry that I was creating in this PowerShell snippet. And if you want more details about how active setup and run once work, you can check out the videos that I have in the bottom of the page here. Anyways, now I will click on the button right here to copy the PowerShell command. Go back to my Vember workstation. I will insert the command here, press enter. The command executed successfully. So now if I sign out from my admin user and sign into the Jones account, and here you can see that after run once executed, the registry creation command for this John user, the taskbar icons also moved to the left side. And because I'm using active setup, this will happen for all the users on the computer that are currently existing. And also it will happen for the users that I will be creating on this computer in the future. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.